it's supper time and we're having a really good supper so i thought that i might film it we are what are we having dad tell them <laughs> we're having steaks and baked potatoes and steamed broccoli and homemade bread mm, we got the bread going over here in the bread maker it's got a little bit of time left and we're gonna do some potatoes so we're yeah we're gonna go ahead and put those potatoes in the oven So these are the actual steaks that we've got. We've just got three of them. I never eat my entire steak, so I will have some left over for tomorrow because I really just can't eat that much at a time. But we are looking forward to it. They're pretty. Very pretty. It's not something we do often. This is kind of a rare occasion, so no one thinks, these people are pretentious eating their steak. <laughs> Very rare. Just a special thing to do here and then. And that, that I think that's fun. Makes it more special. Plus, anytime you buy or cook a steak at home, it's always way cheaper than if you were to go to a steakhouse. So, there's that. This is a steamer I got at Walmart. It actually works pretty good. I like the little basket. It kind of makes cleanup easier. Literally wash it in this before you cook it too and that's why i like it yeah that's nice too all right sweet now we wait for the broccoli to steam Right, so we got our pans here on the camp chef, or what I call the fish cooker. Is this what I call the fish cooker? Yeah, sort of. I used to have a sure enough fish cooker out here until I got this. Mm. I like that better. Get the butter milk. We were talking about the smell of propane. The smell of propane gas reminded Dad of being little camping in the campers also sorry for the horrible terrible lighting it's been very cloudy here all day long and it's slightly rained so okay dad i was saying that you said the smell of propane reminded you of being in a camper and hunting when you was young oh yeah like little little yep it does all right so we got the steak seasoned and Pretty much season the steaks however you want. This is just how we like to do it. Put whatever you want to put on there. So we got that part done. And then I guess we'll let these pans get up a little bit to temperature and mm. throw those steaks on. Normally we'd grill them. But it's raining and I don't want to stand in the rain. So next best thing is fry them in butter. Oh, yeah. The last steak I had um, from these same people, I just actually... Did the same way, but on the stove, on the glass top stove. I just sauteed it in butter and garlic. So they're all so good, really good that way too. So it's a different taste. It's less smoky, kind of more, I don't know. So I like it. I'm not going to point it out, but there's something funny in this video. Maybe someone will see it. <laughs> Alright, so the bread is done that we made in the bread maker. I started this early, actually. So if it's not any good, we'll, we'll know it's my fault. <laughs> okay, we got the bread out. The broccoli is going good. I can smell it now. It's steaming good. And Dad went out to check on the steaks. You can see my reflection in the pan. <laughs> in the pot. Cooking pretty good. Smelling pretty good. I'm actually pretty hungry. This one is cooking a little faster since there's just one over here, but it looks good. They still look really good. Mm. 
you don't have a chance to, maybe you need one. <laughs> oh, look it. It just cuts on a whole lot around here and, and all the cannon that is done on this. It's actually really handy. Oh, I didn't bring the fork. Gotta see how dumb this is just to do a little check. Maybe just to cook them. Gonna cook it a little more. That's the thing with steak. There's no nothing wrong with take it out, check it, see if it's how you want it, put it back in. I would way rather do that than end up with having it cooked in a way that I didn't want it cooked. I always take it out and just check. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it then. We'll take them inside. Okay, we got the steak, bread. Look at that while I'm in here now with some light. Give the steak a test run and man oh man, it's really good. Um, this is still what I say is the best steak, the steak that we get from these people. It's actually the cattle farm that we live right next to. They um, have a farm store. So you can buy their beef um, at the grocery store or other places, but you can just go to their farm store and buy some. And how many how many yards is the farm store away from us? <laughs> uh, Not far. Probably four or 500 yards. From yeah. There. So sometimes like, we go down there and buy a steak. And it's I, I like it because I can literally hear and see the cattle around so i don't know i guess that if you're wanting local food it doesn't get any more local than that and then there's other places too around here who do have some local meat like the adams farm that we went to and some other people so it's cool to buy the steak that's local and if you're going to kind of splurge and do a treat to kind of get the, the special stuff so we're excited and we're waiting on the broccoli it should be about done and we got the bread so then we just gotta call mom in here <laughs> dad's chicken the potatoes i just really didn't want one i just wanted the steak the bread and broccoli that's just me sometimes i feel like a baked potato other times i just really don't so but they look good okay guys are you ready to eat looks like a feast i didn't really do much of anything except i made the bread but and i assisted in the steak selection at the store and <laughs> filmed but that's pretty much it <laughs> well you, you planned it it was your plan right i said yeah i want some steak and some broccoli and we had broccoli, so. You can do the most important part, and that's eat it. <laughs> and then dishes. <laughs> no, I don't do dishes. Okay, guys, you get a plate, and we got this. And we have mom's pumpkin bread from earlier. I'll put a link to that video oh, in this video. Potatoes. Get you a potato, mama. Some bread. This is so fun. This is like the opposite. Usually mom is filming us get a plate, but now I'm filming mom get a plate. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat a whole steak, so I could, could cut one up. Cut one up. Yeah. Does it matter which one? <clears throat> one on the bottom is Katie's, I think. But I don't know that it really matters. You just get whatever you want. Get you a piece of steak, mm -hmm. I ended up with two forks somehow. It's funny. You can use one for the broccoli fork. Give me a Gotta get some butter for the potato, huh? like a feast I think so it is now dad's turn to get his supper got to get some steak potato 
Definitely get some broccoli. Gonna get everything in there. That'll be good. Corey is not here, but Corey likes to say more butter, more better. <laughs> You'll have to comment below and tell me if you like broccoli, because some people literally despise it. But we love it in this house. And we also love the homemade bread. That really just is the perfect last touch to go with this meal here, so I'm glad that we decided to do that too. All right, I got my plate and now I am ready to go. And yes, I like lots of ketchup with my steak. That was all very good. And now it is time to do some dishes and yeah, <laughs> I will help. We'll do some dishes. It is the next day and I thought I would go for a walk. If anything, just walk around the yard and kind of see what, I don't know, see what it looks like out here. We've had a lot of rain in North Carolina, like a lot of rain um, in the last little bit. So when it's not raining and it's not freezing and the weather's not crazy, I like to try to get out, go for a walk, get some exercise. Yes, I live in this blue sweatshirt because it's one of the last things I have that fits me. <laughs> and I also live in the bandanas. You just, at this stage, I'm doing what's comfortable. So do you want to go for a walk too, Binks? Binks may want to go for a walk out here. Yeah. What do you think? Oh my goodness. What do you think? No? We'll go back in. Do you want to go for a walk? Binks is very independent, so he just kind of wants to do his thing. He's probably like, stop following me around with the camera, lady. You gonna come with me? Guess you wanted to come on the walk too, huh? All right, Binky, what are we gonna do now that we're out here? Huh? Run, okay, bye. Like I said, it's been raining, so you can kind of hear the creek pretty good. Um, but it is so nice to get out and get that exercise, get that fresh air. You have to comment below and tell me what season is your favorite. I really like summer because of all the fun stuff you get to do. You get to go swimming. You get to, It's just a time to be outdoors, time to get sun. People go to the beach. People do barbecues. I mean, everybody's outside because it's so pretty. And I love it, but the heat, that scorching heat. I feel like I, there's only so long that I can stand that heat before I'm like, no. Uh, I just can't do this anymore. But spring, you know, we're coming up on spring. Spring is really nice because you get kind of the best of both worlds. You get that warmer weather, but the air is still cool and you don't kind of have that like swallowing oppressive heat of summer. So I'd have to say spring is my favorite because everything starts blooming. If you've had a really cold winter, that's kind of the first little taste you're getting of, yeah, there's gonna be a little bit of warmth, but it's not so hot that you're like crispy fried. So I'd have to say spring is my favorite, just that kind of new exciting everything is blooming moving towards something different you'll have to let me know what your favorite is and really what's crazy is just how fast the seasons go like how fast things change like i can't believe it's about to be spring when it feels like it was literally just christmas it feels like it was literally just fall um i hope i'm not the only one that feels like that like man things go so fast <laughs> Wow, and then of course I hear with age it only goes quicker, but it is nice to get out, look around. Mom and Dad have been doing a lot of gardening. I have been helping a little bit, not too much really. I've been doing some stuff myself, kind of getting battened up and getting ready for the baby to get here, so that's fun. Something else I'm really looking forward to is um, once my baby's born once Corey's baby's born once the boys are here i'm really looking forward to bringing them kind of 
I mean, they're, you know, it's going to take a little while. They're little, but I'm interested in bringing them to the water and see what they think. You know, taking them to the creek, doing all the fun stuff that we did, taking them to the lake. I mean, obviously, we're going to supervise them. We're not going to throw them in. But just that, that initial experience of water, like what do they think when they're, you know, several months old and they're big enough to kind of pick up and dangle their feet in the water, what do they think about it? Because me and Corey loved the water. We learned to swim at a really early age and you could not keep us out of the water. I mean, we would jump in anything that was deep enough to jump in. We would get in the creek, we would get in every lake, <laughs> every pond, every slow moving river, anything we could get in. We really loved the water. So I'll be interested to see what these boys think of it. And just, I don't know, like looking forward to summertime of of kind of a different change, a different season. And I'm not gonna lie, being pregnant's hard. Like even if you've had a really good pregnancy and I have, I've been so incredibly blessed to have a good pregnancy and be healthy. It's hard, it's not easy. So thinking about there's a time where I'm like, I'm gonna have my sweet precious little baby here to see and hold and love and just experience. But also you mean I could tie my shoes again you mean I could bend over, <laughs> I could roll over, I could have this comfort. I'm really looking forward to that too. Spoke too soon. I said, I love this really pretty walk I'm having outside in the break of the rain, it's raining. So I may end this video. Maybe I'll show you real quick what's on my bench. I've been doing some jewelry stuff and that might be something interesting since all the sunshine disappeared and the rain's coming back. There really wasn't any sunshine out here anyway. So. Maybe we'll just head inside for a minute and then I'm going to let you go so you can go do whatever you have to do. I've kind of got these stones on my bench right now. Sometimes I just have a stone that lays on my bench and I'm trying to come up with something I want to do with it. This is one I cut. I think you can hear the washer in the background too, y'all. Sorry. This is one I cut. This is a Jasper. Um, I didn't cut the rest of these, but... This is an agate. So sometimes I like to just leave these stones that I know I like and I want to work with soon sitting on my bench so that I can get inspired. I love that little moss agate. And I really like this. That is kind of like a, um, kind of like a Botswana agate, just a funky little, I really like the pattern. So I haven't come up with anything to do with these yet, but I'm just sitting here thinking about it. I've had these on my bench these little i like to do stuff with moons so i was working on these probably for earrings you know something like that and then looking at maybe making i don't know a few more earrings something like that just little simple stuff nothing too complicated and i always like making these hoops these are bronze sometimes i have like other metals there's some other metal over there <laughs> some silver and some copper but i do like to do these simple hoops and so it's kind of funny how this works sometimes i'll have like these are just supposed to be hoops those are just supposed to be earrings this i'm still deciding on but sometimes like this will end up next to that and i'll say "Ooh, i like that color scheme or you know i'll two different projects will kind of end up sitting next to each other and i'll say "Ooh, i bet i could do something with that so things that really weren't supposed to go together to begin with end up going together because I kind of see them in a different perspective with a different kind of idea in mind, if that makes sense. So nothing too much on here, just piddling away. The drizzle stopped <laughs> and the sun, sun kind of came out. It's not exactly sunny, but there's a little bit of light and it's a little bit less drizzly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of just a short little go for a walk, um, eat supper, just a little miniature kind of vlog style thing of, of what I'm doing. And sometimes that's what my days look like. The further I get kind of toward having the baby, I, I try to slow down, eat a good supper, you know, do a little bit of work, not overwork and try to get outside and get some exercise and some fresh air too. So that's really nice. I always enjoy that. And like I said, you'll have to comment and tell me which, which is your favorite season because I always like to know what other people think and then why. Why do you think that? What is your perspective on the seasons, the weather, etc.? Um, okay, I'm going to sign off here. 
and maybe go work on some of that stuff. Maybe come up with some ideas on what I could make out of that stuff. Um, God bless you. God keep you. Thank you for watching. And we will catch you at the next one.